In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create products for a Zazzle. Now, I'm going to use Photoshop. Of course, you could use many other applications. And of course, there are other, other sites other than Zazzle, which for like Cafe Press comes to mind. But uh, anyway, I've got uh, up here some guide files. They're on www.zazzle.com and then slash mk slash custom slash guide files. Now the guide files are quite useful, so you've got a vast range of like t-shirts. These just give you the rough size that you should be using, PNG file. Now, personally, I've always actually found that uh, the file sizes seem to be slightly smaller than, than actually, I don't know. It, maybe it's just the way I've got my machine set up, but uh, you might find uh, that they work perfectly fine. But they at least give the proportions in terms of like the size you can use for t-shirt, cards, etc. There's a whole range of things, photo cards, invitations, etc, etc. Now, I'm just going to go down to the this little whole range down here, and I'm just going to go for mouse pad. Now, I've actually done this earlier, so I've just actually created a PNG file, I've just downloaded this PNG file, and now I'm going to go to Photoshop, open it in Photoshop, and this is actually the, the mouse pad PNG. Now, I've actually increased the size slightly, because I've just like to have a slightly bigger file size. It's up to you, of course. You can uh, find what works best for your uh, things. I'm not going to specify that it should be this or it should be that. Other people might have 150 there, whatever. Right, the proportions anyway are correct. And of course, for most things, you can actually use a fairly square image anyway. I mean, obviously, some things like, say, a mug, a full length mug, you want a like, thin line, sort of thin area. But obviously, for most, like mouse, that sort of thing. You can just go for a fairly square design. So, just done that. And I've got some custom shapes. They're from Graphic Extras. They're the Custom Shapes Collection. And I'm just going to quickly select this one. And I'll just, obviously, just quickly draw the design. I've just selected a basic design there. Save. Now, it saves it to the PNG file. Right, it's 24, etc. Now, let's go over back to thing. Now, you've got here, I've actually set, obviously set up this account. So, I mean, set up an account, obviously, beforehand, so you can actually start creating products and adding images. So, I'm just going to go to the products, create a new product. It's just over there, create new product. And you get a whole list of different things. And I'm just, of course, now going around mouse pads. You have to quickly search for it. Of course, you could do a quick search. Click on that. Great mouse pad. And, and I never actually like this bit where it says get started, but you can just quickly clear it. I'm not really certain sometimes what I should do. <laughs> but anyway, just going to go add images. Click that. And it will come up with the, the selection of designs you've previously added. I've obviously decided added lots of other images already. These are all from Custom Shapes Collection on the Graphic Extra site. I'm just going to go to my computer. Of course, you can do Instagram, Google Drive, etc. Select image to upload. And at this point, I'm going to go and select the mouse pad PNG. I've got a JPEG as well, because sometimes if you like doing a photographic design, Obviously, it's probably maybe better than a PNG. Whatever, it's up to you. And most of my designs are sort of like vector-like designs. So, click open at that point. Click OK. Uploads it. And then you actually see, like I say, it actually seems to be... Now, this is actually supposedly bigger than the the, the actual PNG in the, the template. So, for some weird reason, it actually seems to be smaller. Now, never understand that. But anyway, just quickly... Click on that to resize it. Of course, you can resize it yourself. Now you've got the basic mouse pad. So once you've done that, if you want to obviously add some text, etc., up to you. I'm going to post this for sale. And obviously, just add some text. And I'm just going to create it Starburst Red Custom Shapes and Mouse Pad. Now, of course, you could put whatever one, maybe more exciting than that. I mean, you obviously make it dynamic and make it more sellable. I must admit, I'm not the world's greatest for uh, <clears throat> creating uh, vast numbers of uh, text that can uh, sell uh, a design. It's uh, not a skill that I've ever mastered particularly. So, right, 
just going to say select a category. I'm going to put it in art, abstract art, which it basically is. Done. Okay. And you could, of course, set up events. Recipient. Um, I've got a store. I'm just going to quickly copy in the tags I'm just going to use. Click OK there. Comes up with the things. Set up the audience, which is just basically everyone. And I have the rights to this design. Yes. Post it. Now, the designs on the, the Graphic Extras website, you can actually use for these. I have no problem with that. They're custom shaped designs that I've created for use for creating lots of things. So if you want to come along and create your own designs using those custom shapes, you're perfectly entitled to do that with those commercial use, etc. Right. So it's actually been created now. You get a, an address for it. And you also get this lovely flash panel which is quite useful. You can actually set it up <coughs> to uh, obviously uh, vary it. You can create a customised panel. You can set it up, say, like with uh, the word, you know, lines, grids, gradients, whatever you want to, like, sell in your panel. And you can make your own, let's say, make your own panel there. And you can then, of course, just add that, embed it onto your website. Just put that bit of code into your uh, HTML page and it will appear. And I'm just going to go and show you that in a sec. Um, right, so it's done that, and of course you can quickly create another mouse pad or go and create something else. I quite like that bit down the bottom. Create another mouse pad. would be nice if Zazzle actually put create another blah 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 some other items as well. Maybe your last five items you've created types of, and then you could select a different one, or maybe you know create a variance of this design. Would be nice also if they put uh, like uh, color effects. So maybe uh, allow you to create uh, 15 variants, different colors like red, green, blue, whatever. So it would be nice. Obviously, that would be a feature, but who knows? Maybe they'll put that in. An Instagram like effects library would be an absolute wonderful addition to uh, Zazzle. But anyway, right. Done all that. I've actually created the product. So it's quite quick and simple to add a quick Zazzle product. Now, go to the next stage, and these are, this is obviously my uh, Zazzle page. Of course, you'll have your own. So, after all your, you can set up categories, etc., where you want to place all your items. So, you can just see all the different items here, types of things you've, I've created, different options, etc., etc., number of visitors. Right, once you've done that, and as I said, you can actually go, and I'm just going to quickly go and create a new tab and bring up Graphic Extras. It's my website. And I've actually got one on the front page. As as it comes up fairly quickly. I've actually put it in outside the main division, the div. So I've actually created a div for this lot, and I'll put it outside so it's, you know, in case it sort of doesn't pop up instantaneously, it doesn't slow the access for this. So uh, that's a quick way of doing that. And I've been creating uh, another one, Custom Shapes, as I said, you could actually quickly uh, create your own Zazzle Puzzle panel and you can set it up with different keywords, whatever, for your own to display. And then obviously, hopefully people will click on and go and buy. Be really useful. And I uh, hope that uh, inspires you to go and quickly create some uh, various mouse mats and mugs and posters and all those sort of things with uh, brushes and various other things. In Photoshop, of course, you could use other applications as well.